Let's make a banana smile. First import your model and let's go into material preview. As you can see, uh, there are a bunch of eyebrows and eye thingies. We only want to do one at a time. So let me show you how to do that. As far as I know, there are two ways to do this. We can either go with a mask modifier, which basically means that if you have a vertex group with a certain amount of vertices, let's say this, this eye and this eye, I'm gonna make a new vertex group, assign it, call it eyes. If we now go into here and have this mask modifier and look up our eyes group, as you can see, it only shows our eyes. Well, we have to uh, invert this and now it is gone. And if we disable this group, it is back again. And then we have to make a whole bunch of modifiers. Or we could we could do it with shape keys, where we make a shape key and select uh, these eyes and then, I don't know, uh, pull them back and scale them down or something. And as you can see, if we turn that on, the eyes disappear. Now, depending on how beefy your computer is, you might want to use either shape keys or the mask modifier. But I think the most performance easy method is doing shape keys. So we'll do that today. All right, so we want to make our shape key. Make sure that you start at key one. Go into edit mode, select everything, press M by distance and select sharp edges. Now select your eyes by pressing L while hovering over the eyes you want to select. Drag them back, scale them to zero. Boom, there's your first shape key. Now if you want to have more control, like you maybe want to have one, the left side wink and the left side not wink or have one eye open on the left side and one eye not open on the right side. You can make twice as many shape keys and do them for each side individually. But to keep it simple for now, we're just gonna do everything all at once. So we'll call this eyes open, make another shape key, select the second set of eyes, drag them back, scale to zero. Eyes squeeze, another shape key, select this and this, press control L, bring them back, scale to zero, eyes closed as you can see we can now disable these eyes and we have only these eyes or we can only have these eyes beautiful now we're gonna do the exact same thing for the eyebrows so just eyebrows mad these two back zero eyebrows sad these two drag back to zero eyebrows surprise oh beautiful select these bring them back to zero boom and we're done with that now we're gonna add a custom property panel it's gonna sit right here and you're gonna have to choose yourself if you want to do that on the mesh or somewhere in the armature now i'm an animator so i would do it in the armature and then preferably somewhere in the head so this is our head so what i would do is go into this bone property tab here go to custom properties select new go into the settings icon go from float to integer, set the min to one and the max to three and call this eyes. Okay. Now right click this value, go to copy as new driver, select your banana mesh again, go back to shape keys and we're gonna go to eyes open, go to this slider, right mouse click, paste driver, right mouse click again, edit driver, set average value to scripted expression. And now we're gonna type a little, now we're gonna type a little thingy here, which is going to be one if eyes equals equals all right so, sorry i mean zero if ice equals equals one else one boom i think that's it so if we go in here and go to properties boom yeah that works okay so what we can do now is just copy this driver copy driver go in here paste it edit driver set this little value to two this little value here boom go here paste the driver edit it set this little thingy to three boom now, if we go back into the head now, you can see that we can just slide between these. And now we're going to add another custom property for the eyebrows. So basically the exact same thing. Go to new, edit, browse, 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 integer. This is also three. Oh, no, this is not exactly only three because Pili also has a facial expression where he doesn't have any eyebrows at all. So we're going to set this to four and this to one. Is that okay? So like the fourth number is going to be no eyebrows at all. So we're going to copy. Copy this as a new driver, go in here, eyebrows mad, paste the driver in this slider value, edit it, scripted expression, zero if browse equals equals, I mean equals equals, oh goddamn, equals one else one, enter. Now copy this, go in here, paste, edit, set this to two, go in here, paste, edit, set this to three. Now if we go back in the head, we can scroll between them 
And as you can see, we have all our eyebrows properly in place. Now for the more tricky part and what most of you probably came for, the mouth, because it doesn't automatically come with the model when you import it. Now, if you use Fortnite porting, a great software, the mouth actually does come, but you're gonna have to look for it in the shader editor. So we're gonna have to go to shading. And with the banana body selected, you also have this flip book. And as you can see, it looks like this when you look at it. And by the way, how I did that, the previewing, is by going to edit preferences add-ons and then enabling node wrangler there you go now this uv map is a little bit crazy it makes the mouth expressions go all over the body and that's not what we want and that's not what fortnite wanted either so that's why they made a whole new uv map solely for this purpose so what we're gonna do is look up uv map you do that by pressing shift a by the way and i'm just typing and we're gonna select the uv1 here and then we can slide this in there and as you can see it's a little more organized now and what we're gonna do for the sake to make this all easy is we're gonna have a mixed color here i plug that in there and then have this body d in the second input now we can kind of look at where we are placing our mouse mouse by the way i'm using this second input if you're wondering why you don't have these white icons here instead of the black ones or the red only and the white input basically is just an alpha mask it tells blend and other programs where there is supposed to be transparent okay what we're going to do first is add a little mapping node there we go and we're just gonna put the mouth where you think the mouth is kind of supposed to go i think there's good and what we're gonna do now is create a little mask now we do that is by having this uv map grabbing a separate xyz node plugging this in there and previewing this now as you can see we get these two gradients here and these two gradients come from the uv map and the uv map basically tells a texture where the texture can be with gradients and we're just gonna use these gradients for not exactly the intended use case but it also it, it just works so what we're gonna do is create a color ramp boom and we're just gonna steal this mix node by pressing shift d and putting it there this in there and now we're just gonna set this to constant and kind of figure out where the boundaries of this mouth are going to be i think about there is good and then we're gonna make another white here and slide that over there there we go uh actually we're, we're supposed to make this one white and the other one's black my apologies there we go now we're gonna do the exact same thing but then for the y there we go and as you can see that's gonna oh not be exactly perfect so we're gonna plug that in there preview this again and we're gonna just slide this up like that and then this up like that beautiful that should do it and now we can just cut this out and put that in there set this to clamp result so that we don't get any weird issues down the road and set this mix to multiply and then drag the factor all the way up so what we've done now is we created a little mask where our mouth is only supposed to be and that's basically so that we don't get all of these mouths on our body now we're gonna need to remember these values and how i would do that is by looking up a combine xyz Control c Control v there we go and this only then Control c Control v so we have this remembered now and what we're gonna do next is add a vector math plug this in the second one and this in here and we're gonna figure out how much it takes to move to the next mouth which looks to be exactly 0.25 nice okay in that case what we're gonna do is add a math node set this to multiply and then go in here and just press Control g to make a group what we're gonna do here is set this to 0.25 put this value in here add another combine xyz in here and plug that into the x only and plug that in there there we go okay now we're gonna go in here and i'm gonna set this value to zero go back out by pressing in the group import or output and pressing tab set this to zero let's call our let's call our group something like face value yeah and what we're gonna do now is a little unnecessary for later down the road but uh, it's gonna look nice to explain for now duplicate this multiply node set it to snap and set the increment to one if we go out of the group now we can drag this value up and as you can see the mouth changes like perfectly that's cool and all but we don't get the mouse here and we still want that so what we're gonna do for that is 
go back into group. Okay, so for the Y, we're going to duplicate this, multiply, drag this value in here, grab this snap, set the increment to 0.25, plug this value in here, and then add one more multiply node. Uh, we don't want that intersecting, let's put that there. One more multiply node and let's set that to minus one. This one's going to go, to go in here and this one's going to go in there. And now, as you can see, if you scroll this face up, we get all the faces we want. Beautiful. And now to actually get the colors we need, we are going to go uh, pull this back a bit, pull that back a bit, set this there, plug this in here and plug that in there. As you can see, we now have our faces, but we still get all, all of the faces on here but for that we've created this mask so what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna slide this back a bit grab a little math node here math set this to multiply pick this result pick this input or output set it to clamp and drag this value in here and now we have our mouth there you go that's beautiful isn't it it is beautiful wow just works like that how crazy now let's see how many faces he has i would say it's 11. all right so knowing that information we can go back in here and select our head bone where we also have these properties and we can go back here make another custom property and this one is for the mouth and for here it's the same thing integer let's name this mouth mouths mouth mouth yeah set this from 1 to 12 which is 11 values set this maximum to 11 Press OK, copy this as a new driver, go back in here and paste that value here, paste. And now basically the last thing we have to do is plug this in here in our diffuse and preview our beautiful mouth. And now we've basically rigged Peely's face. As you can see, if we scroll our mouse here, we get all of our mouths. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, if you want to do this on musicals, it's exactly the same thing. And for any character that uses this kind of system to have expressions. You can even, if you want to just copy this and maybe even all of this material or shader, and then you have to do way less work. Yeah, that's about it. See ya.